Today we're back with another Secret Summer Paradise on the Summer Saran DPD. What? I, I don't know how to read today. Anyway, we're on part 2 and everyone is collecting scattered components to repair the huge central hub in the Valorium Mirage. During this time, you even discover some key clues. Well, last time we already found a rope, but the rope is not useful yet. And we're trying to fix that thing, because that thing is supposed to spin and bring this stuff back around. Anyway, without further ado, let's just wait until the following morning, even though it's already morning. Another thing is, uh, we also have unlocked, uh, well, we haven't yet, but we're about to unlock our free Layla. All we have to do is just unlock the attraction on the game, which is the mini games. Heavy. Anybody wanna talk? Nobody? Usually people won't talk at this time. Oh, okay, people are all disappeared. Yeah, when I talk about Layla, I'm talking about this one, by the way. Night stars, yeah. Free Layla as always, and let's jump into the quest. All right, we just need to Layla. head straight. Let's get going. Let's see what happened. I'm actually super curious of what happened next. Ooh. Hey. All right, it's not possible. I forgot. Don't mind me. I entirely forget that it's not possible. Hey, Kali and Yua. Oh, Adira is here too. Yesterday, we haven't had time to talk to Yula and Kolei, so meeting here is amazing. Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon! Hello. How are you? Did you rest well? I have no idea well where did we rest, but yeah, I'm refreshed. Yep, this is a comfortable place to rest. I guess that's one thing here that's better than the desert. But other than that, there's not much going for this place. Well, we got water to drink, we got fruit to pick, not like the desert, but sure. Saying things like that isn't going to help, Adia. Yeah, be positive. But it's the truth. The desert is full of terrible memories for me. Being there was like... Yeah, like wading through thick mud. I thought you were about to say wedding. <laughs> uh, anyway, Adia, be positive. Even though it's truth, doesn't mean it have to be spoken. Something like that, is it? No, I don't know. That's a weird way to put it. Hmm. Actually, if you hadn't mentioned it, Paimon would have already forgotten that this domain is in the desert. Oh, right. Yeah, I actually entirely forgot about it. Thank you for the reminder. I forgot this is entirely in the desert. I know what you mean. The air here isn't at all like the desert. It's very humid. Almost as if we're in the rainforest. It's a very familiar feeling for me. <sighs> Everyone looks well rested. If you're ready, we can start making our way to the jungle north of here. Good luck, everyone! I'll be rooting for ya! No explanation why we are going there. Also, yeah, part two. It seems like we unlock another part or another section of the map. Nice. Hold on. I said we, didn't I? Uh. <laughs> no need to say goodbye because you're coming too. All right, India, stop slacking. I forgot India has tried to slack around. Wait, 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 India, come, come. Huh? But wait, I, I'm, I'm just the mascot. The mascot need to follow the group. You can't back out this time, Adia. The manager of the fairgrounds is waiting to see you. She said Adia is the only person who could help. Wait, so not just the three brother and also Adia, there's also the fairgrounds? Who is that? Also fairgrounds? More than one? Yes, Kale and I discovered a fairgrounds in the forest. What is that exactly? The person in charge of it seems to be a Spotamod scholar. Oh? Oh. A scholar? But what's she doing there? Researching the forest ley lines? Oh, I wish there were ley lines here that I could ever study. Anyway, I know who you're talking about. I'd better come along then. Okay, that's good. Another thing is, I don't think you want ley lines here. Trust me. I have watched too much of paranormal stuff. Hey, Mirage Paradise in Crisis. I have too much. I've watched too much of those, and not gonna lie. Yeah, when ley line happened, yeah, it didn't mean like power stuff. It mean I actually forgot what it meant. But yeah, if ley line cross each other, that means it's haunted. That is it. <laughs> I don't know why that's what I watch these days. So, you know. That is. Yeah, I swear that is new, right? Not again. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Pavilion of Hermits. That is new. Okay, that's new location, new challenge and stuff. That's wrong. Wait, what are those? Uh, you know, look like cloud stuff. Can't catch me! Can I say the first puzzle? 
Oh, Make that is for later. Okay. <laughs> That's for like your open world exploration. Apparently, touching the grass make me burn. Make my escape. <laughs> Why? I should have just yeah skip the recording section. Skip to where we need to. Another one is that. Oh, that actually look cool. I like that. And a tree frog. Hello there. Oh, finally, someone has arrived. I don't know if people that live here or is here become like this, you know, blue eyes, blue, almost everything. Is it because they are here too long or, yeah, you know, it's like, is their origin look like this? Or are they actually orig originally not look like this? I have no idea. Yula is changing, for example. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mimuna. We've brought a deal with us. Oh, that, that name sounds pretty. Thank you, Kale. It's been quite some time since I've seen you, Idia. To be honest, I didn't think you'd actually show up. Compared to everybody, I know this as well. Only Idia don't have the glow. If anything, I thought you'd be curled up somewhere crying alone. <laughs> that is what everybody said. That is so sad. Hey, you shouldn't be saying things like that. Yeah. I. It sounds like a joke, but yeah. <laughs> Your eyes is turning. It's gonna be blue. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be the first time Paimon's heard someone say that about a Dia, though. Yeah, well, the three brethren. You wanna see me cry? Fine! I'll stop crying right here! No, don't! Aww, oh, Idia! Uh, no, please don't! Alright, alright, I shouldn't have said that. Now, who are these two? Hello, I'm the renowned, self proclaimed, awesome, super amazing streamer and YouTuber, yes. And Paimon is Paimon! <laughs> and yeah, Paimon is Paimon. Uh, I always love when Paimon introducing herself. That is cute. They're reliable helpers. Lucky for you that I found them. You'd better be more careful about how you speak to them, okay? Oh, uh, I hope this person did trash talk in yeah. Of course. Good to meet you. You may call me Maymuna. For the sake of time, we should forego the usual pleasantries. Please follow me. So far, Memuna doesn't strike me as a bad person or the one that really, you know, idiot. Because it seems like Memuna is just joking. But at the same time, I have no idea. Uh, also, new entire place. Entrance, we got entrance Make here. My escape. Oh, yeah. It's more like a camp. Literally a camp, actually. <laughs> what are we doing here? Whoa, alright, it's entirely carnival. Let's explain the puzzle stuff that we witnessed. Um, I got, yeah, I have to jump off the cliff, don't mind me, rather than going downstairs. I actually like this place. Well, only this part, the rest of the part, it seems like, too dark. Wow! Yeah, this place looks amazing. Look at that huge tent! Yeah, it tend to be like that. But no, shut up, alright. Amazing, isn't it? I helped make it. What fun would a fairground be without a tent, right? Well, that... Okay, I'm going to stop with the pun. Really? <gasps> Paimon knew you couldn't be so pathetic. You just act modest all the time to hide your actual abilities. <laughs> Paimon, no! That's so... so that's cruel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dang, Paimon. Uh, huh? Uh, Kole, it's, it's okay. What is it, Kale? Uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should tell you. Oh, yeah, Kale have been, you know, like this. What happened? I'm afraid it might dampen the mood. Kale always... Oh, is Kale scared? You know, because we got... On the Harbinger, we got the clown one. Yeah, is it? What's another thing is you can actually see from her eyes. Genjin have improved a lot. You can see from her eyes, her emotion and stuff. If her eyes look, you know, dead inside, she's dead inside. That's not important. Please, just speak your mind. Uh, well, there are lots of vendor booths set up here, but there's no one running them. In fact, there's no one at this fair at all. <laughs> it looks pretty deserted. Oh, yeah, that that's why I don't like this part of the map. It's... Also, I understand why Kole don't want to say that. It's like, my stream, hey, hey, my stream sound excited and everything, but there's nobody here. <laughs> the truth is, this used to be an exciting and bustling place. But? 
But just a few days ago, something happened, and it seemed like... Like the world was suddenly flipped upside down? Not upside down. Not again. Yes, exactly. Something fell from the central hub into the tent and knocked down the crystal light that was hanging at the top. What is the crystal light? Yeah, what does it do? Oh, the crystal light. You, do you have any idea? <laughs> oh, the crystal light. What is that? Mm-hmm. I remember a certain someone said that we should have beautiful lights to celebrate at a fair, and made us that crystal light. Aw, is it, Idia? But once the light fell, the tent became a complete mess and the Hydro Eidolans were trapped inside. Oh, they are trapped inside. But we just need to free them. Just when I was at my wit's end, a man from the Lawrence clan came and offered his assistance. And? Wait, he offered to help you? Yeah, I know it's like, wait a minute, but what happened? Yes, and he refused to listen to any of my warnings. He just walked straight into the tent, and then... Yes? And then? Yeah! Don't leave us hanging here! What happened? Cliffhanger! Alright, guys, I'm going to end the stream here. <laughs> to we continue. And that's it. He became trapped inside along with the Hydro Eidolans. Yet another victim's step. Alright. That is why you need to hit the warning before going in. Oh no! We have to do something! We can't just leave him there, Maimuna! I'm pretty sure if we go in, we are going to trap inside as well. That's why we are not going in. I know, but the situation inside might be more difficult than you think. You should mentally prepare yourselves. Alright, I am mentally not prepared. Let's get out of here. <laughs> just talking about it is a waste of time. Since we're already here, Let's go and scout out the situation ourselves. <sighs> All right. This way, please. Well, I'm also curious about the Lawrence clan. Who is it? Is it familiar? I think we haven't met this one. Who knows? Also, I'm pretty sure it's domain. Yeah, it's a domain. Enter the big tent. It looks big. And it's a tent. Uh, so, it's a big tent. There used to be a large stage inside, but after everything got shaken up, it seems the very nature of the entire place was altered. Why the music? The lamps and crystal light that were hanging above have all fallen down, which makes repairs near impossible. Wait, so you mean it's difficult to move around in there? Does that move easy? Yes, mainly because of the lights. Do any of you have experience being on stage? Once the stage lights turn on, everyone's attention is focused on you. Surprisingly, yes, I have, actually. <laughs> it's quite scary, but I just, like, find my throbbing heart. My heart is literally like, bum, 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 and I'm like, just, let's go! We can do this! Uh... <laughs> and also, yeah, call it from me. I can't stand that feeling. Having everyone's attention focus solely on me would just make me feel terrible. And your heart will be pumping super fast. Me too! I'm no good at speaking in front of people. And then to have everyone staring at you? Oh, just the thought of it makes me shudder. I know, right? It feels like somebody's watching you. Wait, wait a minute, that's just familiar. I, I don't think anybody's watching me right now. <laughs> wait, that's not even... that's not sad enough. What the heck? Sounds like you have some things you haven't been able to let go of yet. <sighs> Please don't laugh. I'm trying my best to change that, but... There are still some things I can't overcome. Like when there's a lot of people around, or when people are staring at me. It's alright, that's the part that I like about Kole. No, there's nothing funny about that. And you know what? It's not a bad thing to care when other people are looking. That's my opinion anyway. Think about it. Only people who have high standards for themselves would worry about failing to meet others' expectations. Only people who have high standard. Oh. I don't know if that's slice of life or not, I'm taking it. You have many good qualities, Kale. I bet if you had to learn dance since childhood like myself, then you'd be an even better dancer than me. No, no way! <laughs> that would be impossible. It's not, Kale. You just didn't try it. I can relate. I know exactly how she feels. Ah. Maybe we should find a time for you to learn with me. And one day, you will become an outstanding dancer too. 
By that time, you'll be so focused on performing your beautiful moves that you'll no longer worry about an audience watching you. Oh, that is awesome. So all I need to do is just focus on my stream video and stuff. Don't need to care about the viewer. Is that what he meant? <laughs> That's all that from. I'm so sorry. Wow. You are so passionate about this that she's practically glowing now. She is not glowing. I really hope she glows there. But yeah, that section a moment ago is nice. Too pretty. Really? You do that? You wouldn't think I look stupid and secretly laugh at me, would you? I will smile and be happy for you, not laugh at you. <laughs> you really think I'm that kind of person? Fine. Vengeance will be mine. Uh, yeah, I'm going to pay back with helping you, I think that's how it goes. Oh, no! Of course not! Uh, Alright, please teach me. <laughs> that single word, vengeance will be mine! And people are scared. Seems there's no need for me to warn you again. Anyway, you just need to open the curtain and you'll be able to see the stage. And just remember, you're going to get some here. No? Oh, it's just... Oh, it's just them trial. Nice. That is nice. Feels not bad. Yeah! Cryo Dendro reaction. Rotate the lamp. Oh, I need to rotate the lamp. I can see something from not Where are they? Yeah, we're inside. This tent looks different from outside. Oh. Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Wait. What's that thing in the middle there? That's my crystal light. It's been locked up. Well, let's figure out a way to fix this. Looks like we need to raise the platform underneath the crystal light. If I remember correctly, the stage controls should be somewhere around here. Wait, is it a red, yellow, blue? I guess that's the one that fucked it up. I thought I could get here. I don't know if there's any chests as well over here. So we're going to actually explore around. Uh, cause that's, it seems like you can re-enter this later on. Yeah, also I like the music, so... I literally try to search chess and hear music. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help. Parkour. Go, Kole. Yep. They play are amazing. Alright. Kole is one of the best. The Dendro character. <laughs> Never mind. There's a, there's a lot of Dendro character compared to last time. I see where we need to shine that. Alright. It doesn't, doesn't seem like there's any. Install Brilliant Mirror. Brilliant Mirror. This one? It. Pro rotate. I know we need to do something for that. It seems we have to use the colorful lens to make the light change colors. Got it, so I need to install it from oh using that one. Ah. Stage two. Star. Well, it's up now, but you know. Also, yes, I like Kole compared to Eula, so. Hi! Yeah, and the huh? music is literally. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I like Kole, huh? but damage dealing wise, I cannot use Kole. Huh? Yeah, you see this? Why? Uh, I don't mind. Crush! I'm out of curiosity. Why is it huh? a combination? Probably. More speed. Probably only for the story. Oh wait, are they? Yeah, they are E P. I mean C P. More always. speed. All right, insulate. Like... That's one way of shining new light on the problem. Hey, Maymuna, do you happen to know someone named Sino? <laughs> no, never heard that name before. Why do you ask? Oh, never mind then. I was just thinking you two would have a lot in common. <clears throat> Back to the situation at hand, we should probably head into the passageway that opened now. <laughs> Do you, yeah. yeah. Maymuna, you are... Hmm. I, I don't know how to put it, but... Um. <laughs> I love how... Maybe since we're on Sumeru... Oh. Hello? Is anyone here? If you can hear me, please help! Yeah, I'm guessing you are the Lawrence clan. Another thing is, yeah, it's so funny to hear that. I'm guessing because we're on still Sumeru, the, uh, the desert part, that's why we mentioned Sino, but yeah. Lessig Lawrence? <laughs> Wait, what? Who are you? Who has the 
audacity to utter my full name. Oh, yes, but of course. Uh, you sure don't look like you're in any condition to be talking like that. And you scream for help. Yep, he's a member of the Lawrence clan, all right. Even though he's hanging on by a thread, he still insists on clinging to meaningless etiquette. Yeah, I know, right? Crazy. And I'm pretty sure this person's gonna be like, how dare you speak about Lawrence clan like that? You. What are you doing here? Oh, never mind. You know who's you. Another thing is, uh, EDF phone something. Huh. Have you come here to mock me, Eula? No, I've come here to mock you away. If you would just think for a moment, it should be pretty obvious why we are here. Yet, now you're intentionally trying to provoke me? How dare you? Of course, you don't have to accept my help. After all, aristocrats are naturally superior and need no help from others. Ooh, that glance. Yes, thanks for the reminder. I don't need help from the likes of you. All right, if you don't want Eula's help, I'm not going to help as well. I don't think he really needs it, Eula. Yeah, I know, it's because of the aristocrat, the etiquette. His tone was harsh, but he keeps glancing at you from the corner of his eyes. It's my opinion as a healer that he needs help. Aw, Kole! You need to be careful with Kole. Okay. Kole is good at reading people. <laughs> he's been trapped for so long that it seems he's forgotten how to hold a decent conversation. <laughs> how ridiculous. Let's go. We'll leave the stage to this person who'd rather save face than save his own life. Aw, awesome! Eula is making this person beg for help. Wait, is that good? Hey, no! No, wait! Bye! Uh, halt! You cannot just leave me here! Oh, we can. We're both of the Lawrence bloodline, after all! <laughs> after all? So what? What are you gonna do, mate? Helping me when necessary certainly won't tarnish your prestige. If anything, my embarrassing predicament will be overshadowed by your virtuous deed. <sighs> We must uphold the prestige and dignity of the family. Really? Instead of begging for help or asking for help, you try to provoke. Or not provoke, uh, you try to change people's... Wow, that's bad. This is the best reason you could come up with? Really? You think tacking on the word family will be enough to talk me into helping you? Yeah, if anything, I'm going to chop your head first and then I can help you. Or your leg, whichever. You should be ashamed for your careless actions. It's because of you that we all had to come here. Yeah, I know, right? Crazy. I... Uh... Seems everyone in the Lawrence clan is this way. They'll do anything to save face. Even though Yula sounds harsh, we did come all the way here to save him, though. All right, all right. Looks like it's time for the mascot to step in. No, it's all right. You can step on. Wait, I'm just kidding. Here you go. One for Yula. And one for Lessig. I'm guessing it's a uh, candy? What is this? Candy? Yeah, because I keep seeing there are candy around. Uh, thanks. Can I have one? I like candy. Oh, the smell. It's just like the aroma I smell coming from the lens. Yeah, I see it like this candy. Oh, I like the, like, calming music. As bad as India look like, India actually have the kindest heart. Yes, that's right. Enjoying something sweet always lightens the mood. Aww, you are sweet, Lawrence. Oh, thank you, Miss Mascot. Uh, I certainly do feel much better now. <laughs> Miss Mascot. <laughs> <laughs> so he's willing to thank someone else, but not me. Uh, oh, I guess it's an embarrassing type of scenario because, you know, you know each other for too long. Eula has been worrying about you the past few days, and asked me several times regarding how to find you. But now that you two have been reunited, I won't have to keep answering her questions anymore! <laughs> oh, I'm so happy! <laughs> Wait, you're... <laughs> you're happy on that part? Let me clarify one thing. I don't care what happens to him. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Eula will never admit that she actually cares about him. Well... It is what it is. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Five one. If you're going to keep saying nonsense like this, then... Uh, then at least give me another piece of candy. <laughs> okay. What is mine? Hmm? 
Oh, sure, sure. I, I still have more. Sorry. I admit my mistake. I know I've caused heaps of trouble for all of you. Uh, yep. <sighs> Why couldn't you have just said that earlier? Aww. I'm back. Oh? Have you already finished catching up? Why are you all looking at me? Your eyes is glowing. No. Uh, something that you missed, yeah. Oh, uh, nothing. Don't mind us. Uh, so obviously we're going to look at somebody that just walked in. And also Magnolis. All right, then let's clean things up here and keep working our way toward getting the crystal light fixed. Ah, there's no need to push yourself in your condition, Lessig. I'll take him and find some place for him to rest. I happen to be a little tired myself. Uh, at least you, you are being truthful about that. I thought you were trying to run away. All right, I'll leave my cousin to you then. You'd better rest up and regain your strength before we settle things, Lessig. Yeah, you are Lessig. We we're trying to keep him less sick. Alright, anyway. I still love how we are actually here, but... Yeah, let's put a main character here as well. India got a secret power. Oh, what is it? Now, let's see if there's any way to keep raising the platform higher. We probably will need to find a mechanism that's like a lamp. Oh, wow. What is that? Can I use this? Oh, wow. Surprising, I can. Um... Higher and then grab the stuff and then fight. I don't want Padlock. Strange. Is that really the Lessig that I know? You shouldn't always judge people based on the way you knew them before. People change, and people can always make different choices. Hmm. Yeah. Also, this place is actually a happy place, so that'd be too harsh. Uh, do I need to install it immediately? Also, can I pick up more than one? Oh, I cannot try it. Stall the breathing lamp. Oh, look! There's a water droplet over there! Ah, oh, a Hydro Idolin! It must have been trapped in the curtain, but at least it seems to be okay. I don't know how heavy curtain is that somehow you stuck there, but. Also, oh, you're a water droplet. How the heck did you get stuck there? But you know what? Uh, oh, I cannot go anywhere. But you know what? People got their secret, and nothing I can do. Oh, I also gotta... Oh, I see we're making our way to other places. Where am I going? A chest! Nice. Alright, don't miss that chest as well. Try to go to every single entrance that you could possibly get to. No. Yeah, that is entirely not true. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I see. Wait, does that mean I can jump up? Oh, I actually like this. Yeah, this system and remind me of nostalgia stuff like back in the day games. You know. Uh, what did it change? All oh, right, it transferred us to another place. It was like, yeah, where's my? Um, again, I'm just making sure I didn't miss any candy. I know I saw something like that glowing there. Okay, breakable, burnable, but you know, but everything's about burning. Next stage. So, so far there are like three chests, two from something like this, another one is from that. <laughs> I actually hope I didn't miss it. Wow, and Paimon thought it looked big from the outside. That's this place fine. is massive! It is a magical tent after all. The inside is much larger than it appears from the outside. Haven't you heard stories with this sort of thing before? Nope. I didn't know why you can fall down. Surprisingly, well, hey, with a magic of cutting, pausing, I'm all here. Yeah, there are a lot of candy here. Can I have a candy? And you are just, yeah, good at scamming people out of their candy. Why could I get one? You like a two. Oh, another path has appeared. This should be the last level. Yes, don't worry. We're almost to the top of the tent. Well, you guys actually need to not say that because I feel like something about to happen. The last thing we need to do is raise the crystal light to the very top of the tent. After the stage collapsed, I realized that having it raised only halfway makes it look a lot like the stage at the Grand Bazaar. Have any of you visited the Grand Bazaar before? Oh wait, you have visited the Grand Bazaar? That's bizarre. 
No, I haven't. I have. I've gone there a few times with Master Tainari. The place is bustling with all kinds of vendors. And if you're lucky, you can see Nilu perform her dance. Oh wait, when you are lucky, I meet her every time. <laughs> Even in my sleep, which is kind of scary. Oh, a dance from Sumeru? <laughs> I'd like to see that myself. Hmm. If only it were on the way back, then we could stop there. Got it. Need to put a note. When uh, this event is done, we need to check Sumeru. Also, yeah, I actually want to see their performance. It doesn't matter if it's on the way or not. I would be happy to take you whenever you have time, Eula. Great. I'll take you up on that offer. Alright, we also have been to the Grand Bazaar. And Nilo is my Wi-Fi, what? Yeah! Hmm. Now that Paimon thinks about it, we've already been there more times than Paimon can remember! Well, most of it is searching for chests and doing some quests, but you know. Really? My father used to help with festivities at the Grand Bazaar and would always give me candy during the events. Who's your father? Yeah, again, it seems like the people that is inside here look like this. But at the same time, before they come to here, they actually got normal life. Which put me in a question, yeah, do they look like this? Like the blue stuff? I was just a kid and didn't understand anything. I was happy as long as he gave me some candy. To me, fairs and festivals were the best things ever. Ah, it is actually the best thing, because it's like an event. Also another thing is, yeah, it seems like most of the people that's here have the blue stuff again. And yeah, that make, yeah, that make them look like they are, you know, have been here for the longest time. I always thought my father was amazing and wanted here. to be just like him when I grew up. But aren't you a scholar in the academia, Mimuna? As far as I know, scholars seldom could spend time doing anything but research. I doubt you could have time to assist your father in preparing festivities. Yeah, she can. The music again. Yeah, seems you read me like a book. Even though you're not a book. When I had the choice between becoming who I wanted to be and who my parents wanted me to be, I ended up choosing the latter. But I was never happy about it. That's why I always choose what you want to be. Huh. That's almost the exact opposite of you situation. You must have already realized that. Why else would you set up all the booths here and make this place like a fairgrounds? Yes, but I'm still not as happy as I imagined I would be. Bro, I love the music. They come with amazing music. I realized that attending a fair and running a fair are two completely different things. The main reason my childhood was so fun and carefree is because my family worked hard. And I don't need to do anything but just enjoy it. But my father knew how difficult and tiring running a fair could be, so he wanted to push me towards academics. Oh, I see. <sighs> but in the end, I didn't do well in either. I gave up on myself and resorted to investigating ley lines in the desert. Some things happened and then I accidentally ended up here. Got it, so Maimuna is actually from Sumeru and not born from here. I think Idia is the only one that born from here. Maybe, I don't know. Feel like the guardian of this place anyway. I finally had a chance to make my wish of running a fair come true. But after seeing everything come crashing down, I feel like I've lost the strength to go on. It's not as bad as you make it out to be, Maimuna. No need to feel so down. You have the courage to change, and you've been actively guiding us on this journey. Someone who's given up on themselves could never do these things. Oh, Kale. What a word. I understand my situation better than anyone. You don't need to try to comfort me. It's not that I'm trying to comfort you. It's just that people sometimes don't realize that their actions speak louder than words. Yeah, and also another thing is usually they don't know about what did they do to their self. It's like they do amazing stuff. But they didn't notice that because they only see the bad thing. And if you only see the bad thing, obviously the bad thing is going to be the one that's brighter than anything. Believe me, this is something that I learned from my time together with Eula. Oh. Oh? What are you trying to say? Eula is nice, but... but harsh. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <clears throat> now, let's get that crystal light fixed. Yeah, she said vengeance will be mine, but vengeance come in different ways. All right. Well, just like, I'll kick you and put you down. Let's just fix this. The more I talk, the more it sounds... Sucks. Anyway...
uh, install brilliant rotate lamp. I think it's more puzzly now. Cause like we got more stuff. I don't know whether I should pick it up first and then install it and then rotate it, or should I rotate it, install it? Unlock. Okay. I'll just rotate it and then install it. Right then, install it. Uh, let's see what did this um, door, because I already see the mechanism there. Nice. Is there anything before I go? Seems like there is nothing. Right, let's get going. Also, I keep wanting to shoot them. Yeah, I know Arrow gonna go through them. I knew it. Uh, I am scared. Oh, I see. Para 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 para. What happened if I touch it? I just noticed there's a heart there. Curiosity doesn't deserve a reward most of the time. Oh, I was like, where did I end up? Oh wait, oh there we are, I'm about to say, Whoa, that move? I didn't know that. So I didn't realize uh, this was here. Let me see, rotate the lamp. If we're going to raise the crystal light, then we need to open the top of the tent. No, you gotta lie, that seems like it's gonna bump. Is it not gonna bump? They actually look pretty. Choo choo card, a vehicle created by Klee. <laughs> yeah, thank you for explaining that. I forgot about that entirely. Surprisingly, it looked brighter now. Hey, it's Ida! We're back! Why are you guys standing instead of resting? Oh, I was starting to wonder what was taking you so long. But don't worry, Lessig is recovering well. I have a feeling Idia is might be a bad person. I don't know where did that come from. <laughs> I'm pretty good at taking care of people. Seems I've found another good thing about myself. Ah, oh, that's good. I don't know, it just... India gave me a dangerous vibe all of a sudden. I don't know if I should be worried for him or <laughs> happy for her. You can do both. Uh, the shadow. It's massive. Uh, wait. The shadow just now, it's... Uh... Yeah, I got a bad feeling. What happened? Uh... <laughs> Seems he still might need a little more time to recover. Tell me, did everything go well for you all? Oh no, this is gonna be big. Maybe Idia is the Hydro Archon, what? I have a bad feeling about Idia. We see him, he is fine a moment ago, and now he is not fine. And he have been only with Idia. Yeah, I have a feeling Idia is trying to make this person in... <gasps> did Idia try to make this person become, you know, his place people? Of course. With a team like the Traveler, Paimon, Kale, and Eula, they're at least 40 times more reliable than you ever were. Uh, emotional damage. Only 40 times more reliable? That means I'm still pretty good then. Uh, no! <laughs> no! What? Well, yeah, mm. AKA you're 40 times more useless than us. What? Huh? <sighs> I guess it's impossible to feel like you've lost once you've already given up. I'm a little concerned about how comfortable you are with that. I know, right? Huh? What has happened? How did I get outside of the tent? Oh, that's right. I remember meeting you, La, and then... Uh, and then... Oh, my head. Yeah, Idia is not a good person. <laughs> I will just come... I'll just jump to conclusion. Because Leslie cannot remember anything. Oh, you're awake now. Uh, don't worry. Th that's just a side effect of your treatment, Lessig. Is whether treatment and Idia put something bad, or is just this person have a nightmare? Again, 
in this story, this person is standing. Maybe in the story, this person is supposed to lay down and having a nightmare, I don't know. I'm afraid I still feel a little disoriented. So at least when you move your left hand, you didn't move your left leg. I'm scared to ask what kind of treatment he received. <laughs> well. Lessig Lawrence. Oh, it's you, Eula. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'll come back to Mondstadt with you and abandon my wild efforts to restore the Lawrence clan. Interesting. Now you want to talk. Seems like you've had a change of heart. In that case, maybe you'll be able to explain everything in detail for us now. I... Uh, I admit it, yes. I came here in hopes of finding a way to restore the Lawrence clan to its former glory. But it was a long journey, and I didn't always know the way. I passed through Liyue and Sumeru. There was even a time when I lost my wallet and had to live in the wild. No, not my wallet. But the peculiar thing is, I realized that nobody knew me out there. And not a single person even cared about the Lawrence clan. Yeah, bad reputation. Why would, you know, I go around and say, like, Lawrence clan is a thing. You and I are like glass pawns that were raised in shackles. We were taught to act like nobles, but outside the walls of our home, the people of Mondstadt despised us. Paimon looked too shiny. I literally look at Paimon this entire time. Such pompous, hateful, and stubborn teaching. It all culminated to making us cling to the old aristocratic dogma in an attempt to maintain our pride. It's like a never-ending game of tug-of-war, but it is meaningless. You understand. Or I should say, you have already long understood. But I'm afraid that I have only just realized this. Hmm. Paimon sorta understands what Lessig is saying. Uh, uh, what Lessig say is pretty much Lawrence clan is bad. Uh, they teach you bad stuff that make you hold to your ego, and now I finally understand, and I become a good person, yay! Everything he said is true. Your family is probably unaware that you've already changed how you see things. Yes. This has all happened recently. After coming to this domain, I realized the Mondstadt that I want is one where not everyone fears me. Ah, Kole. Kole can relate. All that I and many other members of the Lawrence clan long for is a place where we can live peacefully with others. Lessig, both you and I never had anything to do with the glory of the Lawrence clan. That is all in the past. We are just ordinary people. <sighs> I originally planned on returning to Mondstadt after taking care of things here. I never thought you would come here. I was completely shocked. Which is why I reacted like I did. I'm sorry. A change, man. See, people can always make different choices. And it seems that Lassik has also chosen to become someone he truly wants to be. <clears throat> yes, about that. I'm afraid I haven't quite found my own purpose in life yet. Dum dum dum. <laughs> what? That's all right. Being able to clearly choose between becoming who you want to be and who your parents wanted you to be is already a step in the right direction. Aww, may wanna say that because may wanna suffer that, what? How to find true happiness is probably one of the most difficult research topics of all. Aw, oh, the stairs. I like the stairs. Actually, that feels weird, never mind. I have a suggestion for you, Lessig. Why don't you return to Mondstadt and tell your parents what you just told us? They will... Get that seat belt and hit him with it. <laughs> They'll probably try to tear me limb from limb. Yeah. But what about you? Did you ever tell your family about what you think? I'm pretty sure people already know. This is something that I've been thinking about, too. Perhaps the two of us can sit down with the rest of the clan and discuss it with them. I have a bad feeling it's gonna be a cold war. The Lawrence clan is just like this stage. It was once home to glorious performances, but those days are now long gone, and it is time for the stage to be updated. Aww. She's so solid and tough, but also clear and open, like an ice cube. 
Is that why she's able to dance anytime and anywhere she wishes? I don't think so. Ice cube is a cube, not a ball. So it's hard to move. Um, are you all done talking now? Wow. Yeah, I have a... I still got this bad feeling about her. Yes, I think so. By the way, that is for you. Please take it. I found it on Lessig earlier. What is that? Oh, one of the key. Uh, click, click. Oh, it's one of the missing components. Wait, so you had it all this time? Why didn't you give it to me earlier? You need to find your courage. Well, you didn't ask. All right, I admit it. I forgot about it. Also, you're not wrong. She didn't ask. <laughs> okay, we'll let the traveler hold on to it for now. Hmm? Wait, this looks like... Wait, it? It looks pretty familiar. Have we seen one of these before? I... Many times. Some might say too many. It's a candy box. Ah, right. I also bought a similar box at the last festival. Yes, people often use this kind of box for candy at festivals. This was one of the materials originally used to create the tent. Wait, what? But now that the tent has been repaired, we no longer need it. Eating the candy from the box as an adult will never be as delicious as it was when you were a kid. But if you really think about it, there are way more things you can eat as an adult. Ah, so when it comes down to it, eating candy is sort of like life. It's just another choice. Hmm. So, as of now, we've already collected three of the missing components. Only one more to go. Oh, yeah, because last time we got a rope and also the gear. I'm sorry that repairing the tent took so much of everyone's time. You should all head back and have a rest. I'll lead the way. Let's see. When we are looking candy box. Uh, it, do it doesn't look familiar to me. Maybe it was the one that we need to choose on. Yeah, when it's on Sumeru part stuff. I don't know. What do we got? <laughs> also, I got exactly 15k. Isn't the water droplet we saved a while back? I will do that later. I got exactly 15k as well. Crazy. Alright, return to the silver bottle courtyard, which is right over there. We haven't met Kokomi, Cleave, and yeah. Hey, Kokomi! You're already here! Kokomi! Oh, you're back. I trust your adventures to the forest went smoothly. Yeah. Yep, you could say that. How about you? Up to anything today? Well, I suppose it's time I told you that as the Divine Priestess of Watatsumi Island, I shouldn't actually be here now. Well, that's kind of obvious, we know. The truth is that a relic known as the Shinro Casket was lost from Watatsumi Island long ago. Oh, and you're searching for that? Wonder what that Imagine that's actually the part 3, that is the casket that we use uh, for the machine. But recently, an orb matching the relic's description suddenly began emitting light, almost as if it was guiding people to it. <sighs> This is what led me to find the relic's whereabouts. Oh, so you came here looking for something. And that's what you meant by broadening your horizon. Huh. I wasn't lying when I said that. Coral has often told me that sitting at home reading light novels is not the best of practices. And that I should try to get out more. Well, Goro is not wrong. Nice Goro. As I made my way from Watatsumi Island to Sumeru, I enjoyed a variety of breathtaking sights. <sighs> it really is a beautiful nation. I even stayed in the rainforest for several days. I was surprised to find that the relic had ended up in the desert. I knew it was somewhere here, but I still couldn't pinpoint the exact location. Yeah, something's definitely going in here. It's not just the upside down stuff. Though I feel that Idea was not intentionally trying to hide anything from us, this domain does have plenty of secrets. I'm sure you've sensed that too. I see. That is interesting. Game developer thing is far. Yeah, I definitely said something. But I blame Idea for it. This is an unusual place, and Idea will suddenly become very busy from time to time. Plus, she knows Alice. I forgot about that. Which means... She is not supposed to be a coward, and she is an amazing person. She is hiding something for sure. 
Now that you mention it, a lot did happen today. Wow, Traveler just made me think a lot. You tell Kokomi everything that happened at the fairgrounds. Hmm, I see. When you found Lessig, did you also happen to find any clues related to this domain? Um, no, I don't think so. I found three chests. I'm afraid that he was caught up in his thoughts and didn't pay attention to his surroundings. Actually, before the world was flipped upside down, this domain didn't look anything like this. Oh, really? Hey, everyone! Oh, I hope we're not interrupting your conversation. No, it's not. It's all right. You two did a lot today. Care to join me for a cup of tea? Wait, you didn't ask me for that. Bye bye, poverty. What? Sure. <laughs> that would be perfect. Eula and I just made some snacks. H how about me? Turns out Idea has a cooking stove and oven. Seriously, why didn't she mention it earlier? Yeah, something is off. Oh, so did you make us some moon pies? No, she made you sun pie. No, I made something called storm crust pie. You should try one, traveler. Thank you! There you go, nice. I'm not going to pull for you, by the way, still, but thank you! And I made some pita pockets. You can try some, Kokomi. It should taste great with tea. Oh, I actually want to try pita pockets. Huh, sorry. I should call you General. It's alright, Cole, calm down. It's not we are living, you know, less than 80s and have to call the king the king. Oh, I would be happy to try some. By the way, Yula, how's your cousin doing now? Oh, him. <laughs> You would never guess, but he's busy over by the oven now. Yeah, I would never guess. That is it! Mirage Paradise in Crisis! It's... Yeah, I should have continued her. Oh, that is so cute! Nice! But with that, then we unlock the attraction. That is amazing! Let's actually search for every single character in the game. I quote unquote almost forget about that. Oh no, there's someone lying on the ground over there. This look bad. Let's go and sell them. Whatever should I do? Lovely. Nine and one. Uh, where was where was people again? I was searching for. Wait, I thought I saw you over here somewhere. Did I not? Laura, cook on me. What I swear, there you are. As a descendant of the illustrious Lawrence clan, I learned many skills during my journey. For example, baking flatbread. <laughs> don't, don't say flat, by the way, careful. Another thing is, ah, I thought you just learned turn on, uh, no, but. Good. This should be just the right amount of heat. Well, that looked hot. I had no idea you knew how to bake. I thought you'd be the type who'd never get anywhere near the kitchen. Yeah, you might beg for help now. Ah, I've been meaning to ask you. Uh, do you have time later? Could you teach me how to make those delectable snacks of yours? Oh. Oh? Uh, but that might take some time. Uh, besides, we're not here to get to know each other as family. Ah, oh, you lie. You lie, is so dead -ass. So again, you're worried about our ties within the Lawrence family. Fine. But you said yourself that we're just ordinary people. So why don't we learn from each other like regular cousins would? Ah, oh, this is wholesome. Also, Lessig understand her. She is literally shy. I know she doesn't look like it, but she is shy. I wonder what is Klee and Kaya up to, actually. Let me try to find them somehow. Let's see. How did I miss this? Kokomi and Kole is right behind the fountain. Fountain? Fountain. This is the first time I've had tea that tastes like this. It seems Inazuman tea is a lot different from what we have in Sumeru. Because Inazuma tea is called Ocha. That also... That means green tea. Ah, <sighs> yes. It seems people in Sumeru like to put spices in their tea, right? Ah, uh, well, that's us normal. Yes, that's right! But I still can't get used to it. <laughs> if I had to pick, I'd drink coffee. Even though it gives me insomnia sometimes. Kolei, you are too young for a cup. Even though Kolei like to drink coffee, I actually hate it. 
I don't like it that much. Uh, actually, no, I don't hate it. I I will. I don't mind tasting it. It's just I don't want to drink it regularly. Yeah, regularly. All right, let's see where Kaya and Klee is located. Still haven't found Kaya. And Klee. Right. What do you have in mind? Only I can do this. This way, hurry a little. Uh, hello. Hello. Oh, how is everything? Discover anything new? Uh, nope. Well, supposed to, but not today. Let me know if you find anything interesting. Okay. Right. Wow, that light brought pretty interesting. Oh, I'm guessing that's... Yeah, again, we helped that little fella <laughs> from the story. Ah, interesting. Alright, I think I figured out where they are located. Uh, open the map. Yeah, I already see them. Nice, nice, nice. Yay! I thought they are not here, so every single character is gonna be here. That's awesome. What are you guys up to? I wanna ride the choo-choo cart with Miss General! Up, up, up! And wee! <laughs> but, uh, I guess the ride makes her a little dizzy. <laughs> I forgot about that. Help, my foot! It's stuck! Ah, so you noticed. Very good. Was it the stars spinning in her dazed eyes that gave it away? <laughs> okay, Kaya, that's sarcasm. She has, she has a little kid, come on. Mm -hmm. Yesterday she said she had lots of little golden stars floating around her. <laughs> but she seems to be doing a lot better today. If Mom were here, she'd probably say the stars are all fish that fell into the clouds. Aww, that is awesome, but with that then, there go, that's every single character that you can find in the game on the part 2, because part 1, part 2 got their own character now. And as always, again, Summer Saran PD is done. As always, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see all of you on the next video. Again, stream every day, link description down below. Goodbye, it's time to do the attraction. Sparks, wow!